see this coming. Uh, <laughs> okay, honey. Uh, I'm good. You okay? Yes, baby. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. uh, yeah. A <clears throat> uh, get together surprise congratulations to the greatest man of this world. My brother from another mother. My ace. My playmate and, and uh, the best <laughs> man that loves me unconditionally and doing everything possible to make sure that I'm happy and a proud wife. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm humbled. Yeah. All right. Let's toast to the greatest lawyer in this world. The man who refused to teach me nothing <laughs> but the law. <laughs> I you see that. Yeah, yes. Woo! Oh. Woo! Yay! Well, there you go. Thank you very much, bro. Okay. I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't see this coming though. I didn't see this coming. <laughs> it was a surprise. Right. Okay, there we go. Two more success to come, bro. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, guys, I'm completely blown away. I least expected to see everyone here. Um, I must say thank you for coming to celebrate with me. Natasha, thank you so much. Natasha is my private prosecutor and investigator. And uh, she's quite brilliant, very smart individual. Uh, thank you for what you do for me. Um, and thank you for coming to celebrate with me. I really do appreciate it. And Basil, you've been my friend. You've been my brother, my partner. Um, You've been such a great guy to me. I must appreciate your friendship. Thank you for your encouragement and uh, thank you for making me a better person. He's a good guy and above all, and my partner in progress. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, bro. You're welcome. I really want to say I appreciate everything. And most importantly, um, this is a very special moment for me. My wife, Lois, Edwards, Mokedi, I love you so much and uh, I'll keep loving you until I die. She's been my world, she's been my best friend, she's been my backbone, she's everything a man needs in a woman. Thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for encouraging me. Thank you for supporting me. And uh, I'm excited to share this moment with you. I love you. Hey guys, it's been two years. I've been working on this case for two years. Can you beat that? <laughs> Two years to stressful. <laughs> yes, and now we're here. We're, we're doing this now. We won the case, and so let's celebrate. Mm. Oh, sure. To success. To yes, success. To success. Right. Woo! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Avalon. Thank you. Yes, your your closing argument was masterful. The jury almost gave you a standing ovation. Oh yeah! <laughs> well done, man. Thank you very we much. did it. Let's celebrate. Hey. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, hello, yeah. Dad. You called. So Natasha. Okay. How are you doing? Yes. Hey, babe. Who was that? Um, it was Daddy. Everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. He asked so? to see me, so. You're going now? Yeah. You coming back? Of course. Come on, I'll be back soon. You'll be fast about it. I know. Because I miss you. Mm. <laughs> I miss you more. Alright. Um, Natasha, Basile, 
please make yourselves comfortable, okay? Great. Right. Baby I'll will help you. you with that. All right. You Thanks. Yeah. Mm, I'll take care of okay, that. Right. <sighs> um, Natasha, um, please make yourself comfortable. Okay. Uh, I'll take care of you. Anything you want. Hey, boy. Mm. You're not a stranger, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'll be. I'll be right back. Just give me a second, okay? No problem. Okay. Yeah. Woo. Yes. Very affirmative. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, I can't help but commend your efforts, bro. You see, the suspect was a drug dealer. He's been involved with insurrection, arson, and murder. So getting 25 years minimum from the law is a just measure. Hmm, you're right. Ah, uh, you see, um, I can say our city will have a little rest from crime stories surrounding him. Obviously. He was a vicious fellow, you mm -hmm. know. Yep. Your phone has been buzzing in the sitting room. I guess the caller is not giving up anytime soon. Oh, thank you. I'll just take it. Hello? Vicentia. Hi, Vin. Been a while. How are you? The truth remains that I never liked that man called Avalon. That is my husband we're talking about here. Oh, yes, I know. I allowed him to marry you because he got you pregnant. Watching you terminate the pregnancy would ruin my reputation and that was why I approved the marriage. <laughs> Dad, Avalon is a hard-working man. He's one of the best lawyers our school has ever produced. He has got prospects. And very soon, I believe his dreams will come to light and we'll all celebrate. Oh, shut your mouth, Lois, and stop being ludicrous. Avalon Woke, the prosecuted and jailed Mark Smith Otumba, one of my richest friends, who has been helpful to me financially and otherwise. Do you know the magnanimity of his action? Do you know? He has ruined the relationship I built over the years. And his submission made the Chief Justice rule against Otumba. Oh, I beg your pardon, Father. You were part of the jury that examined the submission of the prosecution and defense counsel. Why did he bring up such violent evidence that put my friend behind bars? Why? Tell me that. Father, you have always said that there is no best lawyer in a worst case. Let me tell you, Lois, I will definitely deal with Avalon. So you better start now to prepare a divorce suit against him. I love my husband, Father, and I will not divorce him. Very well then. Suit yourself. Suit yourself, Lois. But I tell you this. The wild wind of my vengeance is coming, and it will sweep him and his family off their feet into the ocean. Excuse me? And by this comment you mean... Read my lips. I mean that I will not care that I am your father when I want to deal with Avalon and you will join him. I mean every bit of the words I have spoken. So do not say I did not warn you. Whoa, that was a long call, bro. Who was that? Yeah, an old friend. It's a couple of old friends. They are, you know, organizing a reunion party mm. and they want me in attendance. Mm. Yeah, and the convener is, guess who? Who? Vicentia Okunzuwa. Vicentia. Vicentia, yeah. Vicentia, Vicentia. That name rings a bell. Oh my goodness, Vicentia Okozua. Yeah, your university girlfriend who vanished into thin air after graduation, right? Oh, same girl that made you go to law school with a broken heart. <laughs> oh damn, you're not serious, Basil. You see, you have a you have a sharp brain, a retentive one at that. <laughs> Makes me wonder why you're not a practicing lawyer. 
Oh, bro. Yeah. Uh, on the more serious note, I was wondering, mm -hmm. why would you want to dine with the devil again? I mean, you didn't hear from the heartbreak till you met Lois, your heartthrob. She's just an old friend, bro. She's just an old friend. Besides, she's married now. Oh, she's married. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> bro, Vicentia really dealt with you. <laughs> Damn. Dealt, you said, bro. It's in the past. It's past tense. Look at me. I'm good now. I'm a lawyer. I'm called to bar. I defend people in court. I'm married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Lois Edwards Mukedi. I met her through you. Bro, I'm indebted to you, man. Come on, bro. There's nothing to worry about. It's just a harmless reunion party. And there's no way possible I'll go there without my wife. Good. I'm sorry, let me take this call. Okay. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hello. We used to be in the same school together. Sorry. I overheard your conversation with Basil. We were not in the same department. She was studying history and international relations. And I was studying criminal law. Hmm. A different faculty too. <laughs> A woman as beautiful as Vicentia cannot invite you to a party just for a reunion. What the hell are you talking about? She must have heard about your success story in the news and set up a party calling it a reunion or whatever. I don't know. I guess you omitted the part where I said I'll be going there with my wife and Vicentia will be coming with her husband. You are a lawyer and I am a private investigator. I am telling you now to be very careful. Be careful! Yes, be careful. Be careful so you don't end up like me. You all know how I got broke after a damn divorce. I lost my car, my home, my life savings, everything. But still, no one is trying to end up like you. A young man who lives in a mini apartment with a futon. I'm a very careful person, you know. Oh well. Very well then. I'll keep your comfort on the itinerary of no mistake. So babe, you want to see your dad? What was the urgent call about? He sends a shipload of congratulations and he's acknowledged that you made him more proud when the verdict was announced in your favor by the chief judge. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm humbled. So, mm -hmm. since I did not make anything for my husband, right. I got some food from daddy's place. And guess what? What? They made your favorite fried rice and chicken. Really? Mm-hmm. Guess what? What? You're also my favorite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Baby. What? <laughs> Please stop, stop. Our son could walk in any minute. No, it's okay. My boy is fine. I'm kissing his mommy. Mm -hmm. Why don't you eat before you eat? Hey. I'd rather eat before I eat. <laughs> Come on. Baby, stop. What? I just want to eat. What's wrong with you? Okay. Listen, I'm grateful to God that I have you in my life. Do you know what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm grateful to God that I have you too. Okay. 
even this is a dining table. So you be careful. Stop it. Oh, please. Can you still get a room? What's the meaning of this? Really? Imelda, this is our house. Everywhere is a room in this house. <laughs> Everywhere is a room in my father's house. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. If I can remember correctly, this house was bought in my father's name. And as a street disciplinarian that he is, my father would like modesty and orderliness in his house, not this. How about you mind your business and call before coming to this house? That's modesty, you know? Can I call you when coming to my father's house? Yes. Who am I going to call? A half man like you? Imelda, that is half. Can you shut up? I'm not done talking and don't interrupt me. A half man like you? Excuse me, I should call you before I'll come see my sister in my father's house. Okay? Imelda, that was harsh. Oh, really? That was harsh. And you need to shush it right now. Shush what? You need to shush, shush it right now. Come back, I need to Maybe. tell you the truth. Imelda, shush I it. This is my husband's house. Excuse me, I am your sister. I need to tell this man the truth. If he yes. is good as he claims, he should come back, let him be a man. Why are you living on, under my father's roof? I don't get it. And you're telling me to shush it? And he said I should call him, call Woked, he called Avalon Woked for what? In my father's house, not even your house. I don't get it. Like, you be... Oh my goodness, I need to call my dad. There's no policy in this house. There's no distance in this house. Nothing at all. What's all this? What's all this? Oh, Woked is eating chicken. Chicken. Really? Huh. You're too comfortable. You're too comfortable in my father's house. I know what to do. I am so sorry, please. Please, I'm sorry. I know my sister can be really annoying sometimes. But please, I'm begging you, don't take it to heart. Please. But she's stating the obvious. I mean, I can't afford shelter for my family. How does that make me a man? But baby, it's just a matter of time. Mm-hmm. Today is your day, so you don't need anyone to make you feel bad. Don't allow anyone to spoil your day for you. Mr. Assistant District Attorney, <laughs> baby. Listen, you know you always have a way to cheer me up and inspire me. I love you so much and I'll always make you proud. And I love you too. What's it? I got the job, baby. I got the job. What job? Baby, <clears throat> I actually booked a catering job with one of the new firms in town. And they just sent an email to me. Look. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's good news. Oh. <laughs> wow, that's good. Oh, wow. I mean, everything is happening so fast. That's good news. So tell me about this job. Oh. I see someone is back. So now your appetite is back, why don't we go downstairs and I tell you why we eat. Okay, anything for you. Let's mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> go. Oh, beautiful. So about the job babe, how did you get it? Stop marking territories. And please let her be. Let her live her life. What's your problem? Melda, stop. Stop what? I should stop what? Can't you see it? Can't you see what he's doing? When he feels insecure, he will get you pregnant and make you stay at home, restricting you from making your moves. That is what all men do. Honey, is a... It's a luncheon for... The people in the art gallery, they saw my food blog and read my bio, that's it. What? That's good news.
you, sis. Really? Yes. Oh, so tell me. Will you love to have a test taster? Oh, yes. I would love more than that. And if you want to make more money, you would help me prep and serve. Um, of course, I would like to make money. <laughs> <laughs> Count me in, sis. <laughs> you see, I'm really, really excited. Oh. I'm so excited that I get to do this my catering job once again after a long time of being a nursing mother. You know, <laughs> I'm happy for you. Babe, yeah. I totally agree with you. You have worked very hard and it is time for you to shine because your hard work is paying off. I... I believe this new job would, you know, bring other opportunities. Yeah. Amen. Um, baby, there is one more thing. Mm -hmm. The luncheon is this Saturday, and I hope you won't be mad. Are you serious? You hope he won't be mad? Mad for what? Is he a joy killer? Why would he be mad? After so many years of staying at home and now you got a job and you hope he won't be mad. He can get mad for all I care, but you see that job, you're going to get it and you're going to do it. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about all of this. I'm also sorry that I won't be able to make it to your reunion. I would have really loved to see you win the Alumni Year Award. But the client said, if I do this catering job and do it so well, you know, I, I might just end up handling other events for her. That's okay, babe. Eat your food. Eat your food. Eat. Hmm? Eat. Obviously, Father, he's such a braggadocious person. I wonder what came over you when you allowed him marry my sister. That is part of my problems that I want to correct. Dad, how do you intend to do that? Now that he's working stronger, he's even working with Adesoya, your enemy. I know that everything I did, I have done for the sake of my dear daughter. But now that he has joined the Adesoyas to persecute my friend, Max Smith or Tumba, he has joined forces with the enemies to bite the very hand that fed him. And I'm going to deal with him squarely. Daddy waiting pamper. My sexy wife who's getting pampered. Mm. 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 Uh -huh. So my father actually has his eyes on running for the House of Representatives. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh that's great. And guess what? What? He wants my smart, my handsome, my beautiful husband mm -hmm. to be his legal advisor. Oh really? Yes. And now, you know this is huge baby. This comes with lots and lots of rewards. Be it a house, a big mansion, a car, a trip away from here. My respectably, honorably father would do anything and everything for you and for me. Your lordship. Lois, kindly do me a favor. Tell your father I said thanks. But I honestly don't need anything from him. Yeah. 
as a good son-in-law, I'd rather appreciate everything he's done for us than ask for more. Baby. Yeah? Are you trying to say that you do not want a big mansion? Like a beautiful mansion? Lois, listen, I never said that, okay? Of course, I... I love beautiful mansions. I want a new house. But sometimes, a man has got to have his own house. And at this point, I can't keep relying on your father's wealth. Alright? I have to make my own money. Besides, Imelda sees me... She thinks I'm a parasite. My own husband, my life, my king, my brilliant, sweet lawyer, a parasite. Baby, you and I know that's not true. Melda is not a problem here. Let me help you. You're stressed. Let me keep do this for you. Baby, come on. What do you mean Lois will not be going with you? Um, she booked a last minute appointment with some art gallery. I think it has everything to do with her catering job. Ah. Yeah. You mean your wife won't be going with you to a reunion party where your ex will be? <sighs> Who does that bro? Basil, there's nothing to worry about. Listen, I'm gonna go there, catch up with Vin, have a couple of drinks and we both go back to our scheduled lives. Really? Yeah. Uh, if you say so. Ah, that reminds me. Yeah. Like you rightly said, mm -hmm. her husband will be there, right? Uh, so that will help you stay out of trouble and nostalgia. No. She texted me and said her husband won't be coming, so yeah. Avalon, are you being serious? What? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? You ask me what I what do I mean? <laughs> anyway, let me remind you that by the time Lois throws you out of her father's property, there will be no room available for you in my <laughs> crib. Bro, come on, don't be funny. I promise to be careful, bro. Okay, you be let's, careful. Let's head up. I promise to be careful, man. Oh man, so oh. Um, God, you haven't changed. Such a long time. I'm excited to see you again. Me too. <laughs> you see, in high school, you were so beautiful. You dressed seductively. <laughs> <cute>. <laughs> oh, come on. 
I'm happy to see you in flesh and not just on social media. You look good yourself. Thanks for the compliments. I mean, look more charming than high school. Let's get more drink and toast to a word of the alumni of the year. Waiter! Right. Waiter! Bo, it's uh, it's pretty much amazing to see you again after all these years. Where the hell did you go? Well, I travelled overseas. Oh. Taking photographs, assignments here and there, touring the globe. While you were here paving way for yourself in your political world, just as you said you would. <laughs> well, that's true. And look at you, I mean... I suppose you have seen the world just as you said you would. Yeah, because I, I, I thought you uh, vanished. You never texted, you never called, you just ghosted. That was your fault. It was your fault. Because you refused traveling with me. Vicentia, I couldn't have traveled with you. I mean, I gained admission to, you know, into law school. So I had to go to law school. Uh, you know, you are not as free-spirited as I am. I do what my air sign do. Being a Gemini, I just follow my mind. And when I see fire, I blow at it. Because fire needs air to keep burning. And probably some water to, to quench burning. <laughs> hey, happy to see you. Thank you. Hey, hey! <laughs> oh, hi! How you doing? How are you? Uh, I'm fine, as you can see. And you? You good? I'm doing great. Oh, that's good. Ah, I can see you're enjoying yourself. Doing what you love and know how to do best. <laughs> yes. You did not go to the alumni get together with them? Ah, uh, no, it's not for me. Uh, it's just for members of this department, not for the whole school anyway. <laughs> and what are you doing here? Uh, I, uh, I came to check up on you mm -hmm. and to make sure everything is fine. Oh, <laughs> my day has been absolutely amazing. It's been going on well. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so have you caught my friend, your husband? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We haven't really spoken today. Oh, why not? We should. Yeah. But the news of his successful conviction of the district crime law is on air. Mm -hmm. And people have been sending congratulatory messages, you know. Okay. You should call him to check on him. Especially from the congratulations from the women folk. You have to make sure they're not alluring. <laughs> Say, listen to me, you are a very beautiful woman. And your husband, very handsome man. You must learn how to mark your territory to avoid inversion, you know. Sir, tell me, I never crossed your mind all these years, you never thought about looking for me. Hmm? <coughs> um, of, of course I, I, I thought about it, I mean, you crossed my mind a couple of times, I mean to think that I haven't seen you in a while and uh, of course, I thought about you. I thought about you too. I <laughs> missed you. After all, you never forget your first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, you used to be my first. But that's right. Um, so, uh, let's toast to first love, like you said. First love. Yeah. <laughs> and the. Best love. <laughs> oh. 
はい。あ、sorry、I have to take this call。Take your time. Sorry, it's good. Hey, honey. Hi. Hi, Sugar. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Honey, they loved everything. Like the luncheon was amazing. From the buffet to the appetizer and the main dish, everybody was just talking about it. Oh, babe, I'm excited. I'm glad to hear it went well. I knew you could do it. <laughs> And guess what, honey? They promised to give me more catering jobs at the art gallery. Oh, that's that's good, babe. Your your food is amazing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, honey. And I cannot wait to tell you everything in detail. Babe, I can't wait to hear it. But it has to be when I get back home. Okay? I have to go now. All right. I love you. Sorry about that. No,、oh, it's fine. I guess it's your wife checking on you. Oh yes, my wife called me.、Uh, so where were we? I guess I was about telling you that you were my best. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> was I? You've always been. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's right.、Mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. So, um, what is it? Oh, nothing. We're done talking. Oh no, you're not done talking. Okay. <sighs> you know. You, Maybe someone out there is trying to distract him. A lot of people want to associate with success, but you are his wife, so you should spend more time with him on the phone. Call him again. Call him. Is your husband? <laughs> I'll just call him later. Yes, later. He he might just be busy. Okay. Yes.、That's、so um,、one. I was actually going to. Uh, uh, let me get you something. Oh. Since we're here already. Uh, uh, no, let me just see you. Okay.、Oh. I'm in a hurry. Thank you.、Uh, my friend's wife. Of. That bastard. After everything I did for him. I clothed him, I sheltered him, I fed him, I also gave him my daughter for a wife, and now he wants to embarrass me. Dad, please, it has not been proven that he cheats on me or he cheated on me. These things are just mere imaginations born out of Basil's insinuation. So you are waiting for him to cheat before you can react on it. Basil would not have made such insinuation if he had no proof. He's the one that saw the skeletal possibility of your husband cheating before he came to tell us. Okay, so I should leave my marriage. I should divorce him. Is that it? You will do no such thing. You want the dailies and social media to carry the news and ruin my political ambition. Dad, what has your political ambition got to do with me filing for a divorce based on infidelity? It has got a lot to do with it. It means that I cannot care for my home. It means I did not train my child well, because he can grant an interview that can exonerate him. It means I am not capable to handle common conflict. It means. Oh, Dad, please, 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 let me handle my marriage the way I should. What is this? It means. It means. It means. Please, I'm tired. Could this be Delima? 
The devil cannot use my daughter against me. Never. Anything for an old friend, right? Sure. Oh, great. So, Vin, I have to go. Uh, I enjoyed my time with you. So, take care, yeah? See you some other time. <laughs> have lunch? Yeah. You were insatiable last night. What? I guess you want more, right? Hmm? Leave me alone! What's wrong with you? Listen, I have to go home. Now! Why? Come on. Just stay in bed and rest. Hmm? Vin, nothing happened between us. This never happened. Oh, come on. I will be so glad to refresh your memory. Stop it! This was a mistake. I have to go. Listen, I have to go to my wife. And you should go to your husband, now! Look, Avila, we are no longer in school. We are two consenting adults. <laughs> Nobody has to know about us. What? Us? There is no us! Never! You know, you're sounding way different than you sounded last night. So romantic and loving. You're mad. Listen, I'm going back to my wife. You should go back to your husband. Leave me alone. This never happened. And you're just coming back home to see your wife. Avalon, what responsible man does that? Lois, I don't understand what you're talking about. You don't understand what I'm talking about? Really? Avalon, I hope that 
that reunion of yours wasn't an avenue for you to go see other women. Who's been talking to you? Are you accusing me of something? My love, I'm sorry. I really am. It's just that you not coming back home, I was paranoid. Please, I'm sorry, I'm not accusing you of anything. No responsible man goes out and sleeps out. I'm sorry. It's okay. Sorry. All right, let me go make something for you to eat. under the section 408 of the Nigerian Criminal Code. Okay, thank you. Basil, what the hell is wrong with you? It's been two weeks. The documents are not ready. There's no need for second locution around here. Just tell me when the documents will be ready. Listen to me. There's no need for circumlocution around here, okay? Hey, come on. Come on, bro. You shouldn't be hard on me like that, okay? I need some rest. Oh, is it because you won the biggest case of your career two weeks ago? Let me breathe, okay? Basil, putting Mark Smith away was just the first step. And I'm very excited about it. And if you must know, justice never sleeps. Alright? So get your ass up and do your job. Oh, it's all good. I'm doing it, okay? I'm on it. <laughs> oh, my legal luminary and my legal advisor on political matters. You're welcome, sir. I've not come to see my son-in-law. I have come to see Barrister Avalon Wokebu. The ace prosecutor of crime and the carrier of good justice. I'm very humbled, sir. Mm. Well, how about being the district attorney when I become the representative of our zone at the lower chamber of the legislature where are this federation? I'll, I'll be very delighted, sir. Good. We'll be having lunch with the governor today or maybe drink at the golf club. Um... Anything you say, sir. Very well then. See you later. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. This is your father in law. Very pompous man. He has pride. Every day I'll be greeting him. We'll be acting as if he's not seeing me, as if I'm invisible. Hey, hey, hey. Mr. Edwards is a good man. So watch your mouth. I gave him an offer, and I'm sure he'll take it. We'll be having drink with His Excellency this evening. We can actually buy him over from there. One step at a time, Honorable Sir. I can always count on you because, just like your mother, you are a schemer. Daddy, stop it. We have the key. <laughs> you want to drive? Yeah, help okay. me. Okay. <laughs>
Hey, what is it? What's the problem? Nothing. Come on, man. Don't give me that crap, okay? I can see it. I mean, the look on your face shows there's something wrong, so spill it out. What is it? Do you remember the night I attended my college reunion? Mm, of course I do. I remember I told you not to go because your ex will be there. Yeah. A lot happened that night. So I, I had so much to drink and to cut a long story short, I found myself in Vicentia's hotel room. I don't know how I got there. How do you mean you don't know how you got there? How? Basil, it was a... It was... It was a blurry night. I can't remember a single thing. Damn. You should have told me. Wait a minute. Uh, does Lois know you slept with the censure? Come on, Basil. You don't expect me to break her heart with such episode? Bro, well, I beg of you, okay? Do everything humanly possible to make sure Emelda doesn't know what happened. Of course I can't do that. She's going to kill me. So what you know? As for the censure, this is what we're going to do. You are going to state the rules to her. Whatsoever happens at the reunion gets buried at the reunion period. From far away, far away. I, but I don't know. It's coming from someone close to me. Close to me. In this life, in this life, trust nobody. Trust nobody. So many enemies in disguise. All they want is to pull you down. down. In this life, trust nobody. So many enemies in this 
Close to 